Thomas Alive Today presents Ritz Camera. Not until the late 19th century did photography become accessible to everyday people. What had formerly been the photographic options of the wealthy became available to everyone with portable cameras. In 1918 another advancement began quietly in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and the future of cameras and photo developing experienced another step ahead. The first Ritz camera centers began with a single studio on the Atlantic City boardwalk. At the studio, customers could have their photos taken as well as their film developed started and still operated by the Ritz family, that first store was founded by Edward Ritz and introduced a concept that had plenty of growth potential. As Ritz camera centers expanded from that one location in Atlantic City, the firm reached out to nearby states, especially Maryland, where a Baltimore store was added in the 1930s. As stores were added, so were services and retail goods. Not just a place to have a photo taken or have a photo developed, the stores became one-stop shops for all photographic needs. From cameras to photographic equipment, accessories, and service, Ritz Camera Centers offered it all. The company enjoyed ongoing success, but as a new generation of the Ritz family took over the business, change was on the horizon. David Ritz became president and CEO of Ritz Camera Centers in 1978. He helped launch the next era in the company's history, a time of careful planning and controlled expansion. By the mid-1980s, Ritz Camera Centers had grown from that one Atlantic City store to nearly 100 locations. In the late 1980s, Ritz Camera Centers diversified into the marine retail business with the addition of Boaters World. A division of Ritz Camera, Boaters World also began with a single location. Boaters World was a full-service boating and fishing accessories superstore, located in some of the hotspots for boating and fishing along the East Coast from Maine to Florida as well as the Gulf of Mexico, the shores of the Great Lakes, and the West Coast. Boaters World was the second largest company in the marine accessory industry. With fishing equipment representing one of the largest specialties at Boaters World, the company carried a vast selection of lures, baits, nets, line, hooks, and tackle. In addition to the smaller stores, Boaters World also added two superstores in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and Warwick, Rhode Island. These two larger stores carried a wide variety of all types of equipment and accessories. They also offered motor parts for common marine engines. Boaters World had two divisions of its own, Outer Banks Outfitters and Chicago Yacht and Navigation Rigging Shop. Outer Banks Outfitters was one of the mail-order leaders for marine outfitting and fishing. The Chicago Yacht and Navigation Rigging Shop took care of all of the sailing rigging for Boaters World. Ritz Camera Centers also added, in its own retail stores, a diversified line of merchandise. Although most were photo-related, the stores also offered such items as binoculars and cellular phones. The stores also offered the still-popular one-hour Ritz Big Print. Besides the headquarters and merchandise distribution center in Beltsville, Maryland, Ritz Camera also operated a second distribution center in Topeka, Kansas. Together, the center stocked over 4,000 products for delivery to the store locations. In the 1990s, Ritz expanded Boaters World as well, adding inland Boaters World stores in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Nashville, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia, Kansas City, Missouri, and Topeka, Kansas. In 1997, Ritz Camera Centers acquired one of its biggest competitors, Kitts Camera Incorporated of Seattle, Washington. This move strengthened the company's presence in the West Coast market, providing broader coverage of the entire nation. The purchase of Kitts Camera Incorporated gave Ritz 140 more retail stores. Located in eight western and southwestern states, Kitts Camera stores continued to operate under their own name as part of the purchase agreement between the two companies. In an interview with the Baltimore Sun, Ted Fox, the operations officer with the Photo Marketing Association International at the time of the purchase, said, They've been growing steadily for some time. It was a strategic acquisition which opened up the West Coast for Ritz. Ritz has had a presence in the West Coast, but with 140 stores of kits, they really get market penetration. As in many of the acquisitions of the 1990s, the owners of smaller chains or individual stores were ready to move on and were not interested in investing in the new technology and equipment of the retail photographic business. In 1998, Ritz acquired 83 more stores from affiliates of Fuji Photo Film USA Incorporated, and in 1999, Ritz Camera Centers continued its expansion with the purchase of the Camera Shop Incorporated, a 72-store chain. The camera shop was, until the purchase, the nation's third largest camera retailer, behind Ritz and Wolf Camera. 
The Camera Shop Stores, purchased by Ritz, were located in Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, and New York. As a part of the agreement, former Camera Shop President John Bogosian agreed to serve in an advisory capacity to Ritz, and his daughter, Karen Bogosian, became Ritz's regional manager. While Ritz Camera Centers was aggressively buying smaller chains and stores, there were some critics, leery of the larger company becoming such a massive force in the industry. When Ritz Camera Centers purchased Sam Base Camera in Raleigh, North Carolina, in 1998, the local newspaper, The News and Observer, reported that area photographers were concerned about the buyout. The local store had served the professional photographers of the area, and customers were used to very personal and individualized attention. Juan Mendez, a Ritz camera executive, was quoted in the article that the emphasis of the store would remain the same and that even the Sambase name would remain. We don't plan on changing anything, Mendez said, except we may add more inventory. Besides acquisitions, Ritz camera centers also opened new stores throughout the nation. During the 1990s, Ritz remained the leading specialty photo retailer, but Wolf Camera, a Georgia-based retailer, was quickly acquiring companies and going head-to-head -head with Ritz in many markets across the nation. One of Wolf's largest purchases was in 1998 with the acquisition of Eastman Kodak's 450-store Fox photo chain. Despite the substantial addition to Wolf's stores, Ritz Camera Centers continued to lead the industry. As the company embraced the year 2000, the photographic industry was in the midst of big changes. There were new advances everywhere, from the way pictures were taken to the way they were stored. In fact, it was the cost of some of those changes that prompted smaller camera shops and chains to sell to large companies such as Ritz in the 1990s. Ritz Camera Centers approached the new millennium by implementing new technology in photographic equipment, on the web, and with e-commerce. The retail website, introduced in late 1999, was offered as a premier online shopping source for photographic products and equipment. An e-commerce website was also created, in partnership with Fobo.com. Other Ritz companies such as Boaters World and Outer Banks Outfitters also offered Fobo.com websites and e-commerce. Fobo.com had an exclusive arrangement with Ritz Camera Centers for its e-commerce sites, which had the potential of reaching companies with a combined total of more than $30 billion in sales. David Ritz, President and CEO of Ritz Camera Centers, also served as Chairman of Fobo.com. The Ritz Retail website was also used as a marketing and education tool, offering consumers photographic tips and advice. In early 2000, RitzCamera.com announced that it would add auctions as a part of the website. The auctions were planned to feature new and used cameras, hard-to-find accessories, and other photographic items. Ritz Camera Centers offered technological advances in its retail stores as well. Digital photography became more popular, and Ritz Camera Centers offered products and support for new users. Free promotional CDs on using digital photography were offered through early 2000. Through the CD, consumers can access information and services to help them expand their knowledge about photography. And, with the click of a button, consumers can access the vast array of photographic products and services available at RitzCamera.com, said Andre Brysa, Chief Marketing Officer for RitzCamera.com, in a company press release. In April 2000, Ritz Camera announced a partnership with America Online to offer Ritz products through AOL channels. As a part of the five-year agreement, AOL would also market its services through Ritz Camera Centers and its website. Bob Pittman, President and Chief Operating Officer of AOL, said in a company press release, Our new marketing alliance with Ritz and Fobo.com will make it easy and convenient for our members to find Ritz's wide selection of photographic equipment and services. In 2002, Ritz Interactive acquired the internet division of CameraWorld.com, a Portland, Oregon-based company. In 2003, Amazon.com formed a sales alliance with Ritz Interactive Incorporated. In July 2003, Ritz Camera introduced RitzPix.com, which also offers customers online ordering and in-store pickup within an hour. RitzPix.com is currently powered by Lucidium. In 2010, customers had an option on RitzPix.com to have an online order delivered next day to their home at no extra charge. E-retail giant selection of camera products and accessories. In May 2006, Ritz Camera announced a partnership with Yes Video to start offering same-day DVD transfers in all stores nationwide. These stores can transfer VHS, SVHS, Mini-DV, Digital 8, and Digital Media to DVDs in about the time any particular tape takes to play. 
From 2007 to early 2008, Ritz began installing Oki and Xerox equipment in their locations to enable the production of hardback photo books, photo calendars, and custom greeting cards by customers via in-store kiosks or through RitzPix.com for in-store pickup. Ritz and Moto Photo are the only two national retailers to offer these services in a one-hour lab. Beginning in 2008, Ritz began installing lamination slash mounting machines in many of their stores to offer foam core mounting and laminating up to 24 times 36 inch prints in store. On February 22, 2009, Ritz Camera Centers Incorporated filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. Chief Restructuring Officer Mark Vineswy cited the 2008 ongoing recession caused Ritz's 2008 holiday sales to be materially lower than a year earlier. Boaters World also suffered heavy losses in 2008 as gas prices soared. On April 2, 2009, it announced the closure of more than 300 stores nationwide and the liquidation of its Boaters World subsidiary in an attempt to reorganize and emerge from bankruptcy. On July 21, 2009, Reuters reported that a group called RCI had agreed to purchase the firm's remaining 375 stores for $33.1 million. The group included David Ritz. The group said it would attempt to keep all 375 stores open. The purchase agreement required approval of the bankruptcy court which was scheduled to hear the case on July 23. In November 2009, the new company, Ritz Camera & Image, LLC opened five new stores, with a total open of about 300, with a wider range of products, including televisions, compact laptop computers, and smartphones. In February 2010, Ritz started offering metallic printing up to 30 times 40 size on Kodak Professional and Dura metallic paper and deep matte prints on Fujifilm paper. In May 2010, Ritz Camera started the Ritz Fix Network, which for up to $20 per month in imaging products, customers could get up to $100 off any qualifying camera. After multiple requests from customers, Ritz Camera and Image created the Ritz and Wolf Photo Patrol. Photo Patrol consists of private tutoring, four free photography classes with camera purchase, and two-hour seminar classes. According to the Wall Street Journal, Ritz Interactive Incorporated, which operates the websites for such retailers as Ritz Camera and Boaters World, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on August 19, 2011. The Irvine, California, company reported assets of about $809,000 and debts of $7.2 million in its bankruptcy petition, filed Friday with the U.S. Bankruptcy Court in Santa Ana, California. Court papers show Ritz Interactive's executive committee of its board of directors deemed the Chapter 11 filing in the best interests of the company, its creditors and stakeholders. Court papers show that David Ritz holds an 18.55% stake in the company. Among Ritz Interactive's debts are a $3.55 million secured claim held by Ritz Camera. Ritz Interactive's top unsecured trade creditors include American Express, owed about $434,000, Federal Express, owed nearly $104,000, and Google, owed more than $45,000. In May 2012, Ritz Interactive was acquired by Ritz Camera and Image. On June 22, 2012, Ritz Camera and Image filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection again and closed 128 of its stores. On September 6, 2012, liquidation specialist Gordon Brothers Retail Partners LLC and Hilco Merchant Resources LLC won an auction for Ritz Camera's assets and began the process of closing most of the 137 stores that remain. New Jersey-based camera distributor C&A Marketing have acquired the online Ritz Picks business and will operate a few of the retail locations across the country. On September 10, 2012, it was announced that all Ritz, Wolf and other associated subsidiaries would close by the end of October, while a few would reopen under C&A Marketing alongside Ritz Picks and RitzCamera.com on November 1, 2012. In other stores were sold individually or in small groups to other retailers, including three locations to Calumet Photographic. Look what your brain has to go through just to remember all those good times. But if you took a picture instead, Ritz Camera could be doing all this. With the famous Ritz Big Print and great Ritz Color. So your brain could be doing something else. Hot guy. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.